What is up everyone? My name is Zesty Mike and today we're going to be talking about Instagram. You should probably know by now that social media is a big part of growing your channel. And in my opinion, Instagram is one of the best. It's not only a great way to market yourself, but it's also a great way to grow your brand. I just realized I'm wearing headphones. Eh, gotta love headphone hair. Now in the past we talked about an app slash website called Hootsuite. Hootsuite allows you to post to multiple different social medias from one place. So if you have to manage multiple different social medias, this is a lot of help. The reason I bring this up is because Hootsuite announced that Instagram is now available on it. This means that you could schedule your post right from your computer. You can edit those photos in Photoshop, schedule it from Hootsuite, and it'll pop up onto your phone when you schedule it and you can do the rest. It's actually quite cool. So if you're an Instagram user, be sure to check this out. Now secondly, I want to share my Instagram workflow. For those of you who don't use Hootsuite or those of you who use the free version and only have have three social medias to choose from and Instagram is not one of them. Now if you're like me, I take lots of pictures. And I don't want to blow up people who are following our Instagram. So to organize things, I create a folder on Google Drive and whenever I have a photo worthy of Instagram, I drag it into the corresponding folder. When it's time to post an Instagram, I go to Google Drive, pick the photo I'd like to post and download it to my phone or tablet. Once it's downloaded, I open it up into an app called Snapseed. Now this app is really good for those of you guys who don't want to do photo editing in Photoshop. It's quite powerful and can do a lot of strong edits. I go through and tweak the photo as I see fit and then save it. Next, I open it up into Instagram, share it wherever you want, and then of course, hashtag. Most people put hashtags in the description, but you can also put hashtags in the comments and it will still help. So this is good for old Instagrams that you forgot a hashtag or simply overlooked it. Now this is good for old Instagram posts that you didn't put hashtags on. This way that your old post will become searchable as well. Now most people overlook this and skip this step, but in reality, it really does help your photos become searchable. People search these keywords and then your photos come up. As you type the keywords into Instagram, it shows you how many people are searching this keyword, so make sure you pick hashtags that are relevant. Now once you're all hashtagged up, post your photo and now you're good to go. Now I try to post an Instagram about once per day and I've personally seen a lot of growth from this system. And I've also noticed that a lot of my new Instagram followers that I get often subscribe to me on YouTube as well. So you can simply use your Instagram to direct viewers to your YouTube channel and to the videos that you want. But anyways guys, that's it for me today. I hope this has helped some of you. Be sure to leave your questions down below for me to answer next week. Now, if you want to see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the links in the sidebar. Or if you'd like to see more of me, click the links down in the description below. And on another note, my gaming channel is now working. For whatever reason, the link wasn't working the past few weeks and it's just now fixed. So yes, you can check that out if you'd like as well. Anyways, we'll see you next week. See ya. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.